Welcome to our good news program today. We're so excited about the awful thing that is going to come to the world, and that is the great, great tribulation period, seven years. And that's the reason I'm here. And I want you to understand, first of all, the only thing in life that matters is Jesus Christ. And I want everybody to know him as Savior. This is how you can know that you're a child of God. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus Christ is the only way. He's the only one that shed his blood for us. And his blood is pure blood, and it is in us. And that's the only way you can be saved. By his own blood, Christ entered in once into the holy place. And everybody has to understand that in Christ, we have redemption through his blood. This is the, uh, there's no denomination, no religion, no other person in the world but Christ. And this is a great need today that people do not know the word of God. And Romans 8:32. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Now, when I get through with these lessons, the thing that you're going to understand is that Jesus Christ, and I'm going to give these to you because they are in this book, and today in the last days before the end time comes, People are turning from the true and living God to worship even idols. And he says in Isaiah 2, 11, and I want you to read every, every one of these Bible verses that I give to you so you can also tell another person because nobody can go through the tribulation time and be saved if you obey Satan and the 666 number. You are going to an eternal hell. And Christ did not make hell for people. He made those for the devil and his angels. And that's why I'm here for you, because I've lived the abundant life, and I'm 86 years old, and I'm concerned about everybody's salvation. Isaiah 2, 11, and you read all of Isaiah chapter 2, and the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. He's the only one that we are to worship. And then in Jeremiah 17, 5, Thus saith the Lord, Cursed is the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm. Don't trust in man. This is Jeremiah 17, 7. Blessed is a man that trusteth in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. I know everything that has happened to me. He has done all these things that we are going to learn. What all he has given, we are his inheritance. And I want you to live the abundant life that he's given me. And John 7, 13, 3, this is life eternal, that we may know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. And this is, we're going to learn some of the names of Christ. This book, I want everybody to understand, is all his names. And he wants to live them through us in all of these pages that I have for you that I'm going to give you in the next few weeks. All of these are about him. And this is the greatest blessing in the world to know that every one of these blessings in here, just look at these. I'm just beginning today. God is revealed through his names. Father of lights, James 1, 17. The God of heaven. This is something you have to understand. You have to write these down 
I'm not going to take time to read them, but you have to. And then Ezra 7, 19. This is God of heaven, God of hosts. This is the greatest blessing. And you have to understand and read the word of God. He gives us 24 hours a day. How many hours do we give him? We have to read the word of God every day and pray for each other. And then the Holy One. This is another one that you have to understand. First John 2.20. Holy One of Israel. It is so amazing the blessings that he's given to us. And you have to understand that you cannot know these unless you read them. You have to read the word of God. And he is, I am, Jehovah, I am, Jehovah. This is amazing what he gives to us. And everybody, when you know these, your life changes. You need these more than food for your body. Let's pray. Oh, our gracious and dear Heavenly Father, we thank thee and praise thee as we bow our heads to thee. Thine is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. And all that's in the heaven and the earth is thine. And thou art exalted as head above all. All riches and honor come from thee. All things come of thee and of thine own have we given thee. And we're asking for every person today to call upon the Lord to save thee and to give thee eternal life. And you will be a child of God. You will have all of these promises in the book of the blessed word of God. There's no other words except the word of God that is pure as silver, tried in the furnace of the earth. This is so amazing, purified seven times. Read the word of God today. Start in the book of John, and you will learn. And first and second and third John, in Christ's name we pray, amen. So it's so exciting to give out the word of God to all the people that are lost. And to think that he's everybody that is not going to know Christ as Savior after you get into the tribulation period. We as believers, we are raptured in chapter 4 of the book of Revelation. And then Satan and the Antichrist and all the beasts and all the evil things, they begin in chapter 6. And one of the things that people don't understand that this is what they do after they hear what is happening to them. They cry for the rocks and mountains to fall on them. And God didn't do that. That's satanic powers. So when you learn all of these truths, your life is going to change. And he says, this is Revelation 15 and 16 now, the judgments during the last half of the great tribulation period. And once you know these, your life changes because it's all satanic. And the number 666, if you don't take that, they kill you. And then Christ takes you into heaven. But this is another thing that I have to give because I give it all the time because people have never heard these things. And it has broken my heart to think. He says in Revelation chapter 9, look what he, the, they do to these men that took the number 666 in chapter 9 of Revelation. And to them it was given that they should not kill them but that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was at the torment of a serpent when he striketh man. This is just the beginning of what he's going to do. And everybody has to understand that this is, he, you know, it says a third part of the stars are of heaven cast them to the earth. And this is what they're doing, Revelation 12, 9. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. And that's what's happening today. It's already happening. That's why I'm here for you. 
this is something that I am so burdened over. I have never been this burdened over the things that's going to happen to you. And that's the reason I'm here. And this is the true God and eternal life. And then I just gave you John 17, 3. And then John 8, 44. You see, once you know these, it breaks your heart that anybody has to go through them and you don't have to. Accept the Lord Jesus Christ today. This is when you're to know that you're a child of God because after you go into the great tribulation and it's all evil and you can't be saved unless they kill you. Now this is a terrible thing, but it's right here. And then he says in John 8, 44, ye are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth. Write this down and give it to all of your friends because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Everything you do, if you're not obeying this book, the Word of God, you are obeying this right here. This is John chapter 8, 44. And there's more, but I'm not going to give it to you today. But we're going to start and see the awful times that is coming on this earth. And it's going to break your heart when you know that this is going to happen to you, and then you will also be serving the Lord. So we're going today to begin in chapter 16 of Revelation. This is the pouring out of the vile judgments. Revelation 16, 1 and 2. You see, if, if you just knew these truths the way God has taught me, now I don't, I'm, I'm not talking about myself, but he has given me all these truths. God is, everything he gives us is eternal and they're all ours, our inheritance. And every promise in this book is ours. You have not because you ask not. Ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full. Because these things are going to happen to you. If you die today without Christ, you can't change after you get in here unless you go into there because we're going to be in heaven. Only those people that have not accepted Christ. And then those that have not, they are murdered right there. And here's in chapter 6 and 16. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your ways and pour out the vials of the wrath of God upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worshiped his image. This is what you have to go through when you don't listen to the word of God and accept him. Jesus Christ is a gift of eternal life. And this is how you live it and you have to know how great this is. And in everything that I give to you, you write it down so you can give it to another person. In Exodus 20, Verse 3, well, I'll read verse 1. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Jesus Christ is the only person that went to the cross to die for us. And then he says in verse 3, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. And now, Four through six, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. This is how everybody has to learn the truth from God's word and the only way you can learn it. He says in here, God will never allow his glory to be given to another. 
that's one of the greatest gifts in the world, and you never, you never lose it. And then the noisome plagues, the idolatry that's in here, that's why we have to give the youth the truth about worshiping things. That is anything that we put before our Lord. And then we come back to Revelation chapter 16. And now when you think about these, and this is the second angel in Revelation 16 verse 3. And the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea, and it became as blood of a dead man, and every living soul died in the sea. You see why I'm here. I want everybody to know these truths, and we have not heard them. Because in the last days, people turn from the word of God and follow Satan. And then verse 4, And the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and the fountains of waters, and they became blood. And I heard the angel of the waters say, Thou art righteous, O Lord, which art and was and shall be, because thou hast judged thus. For they have shed the blood of the saints, and thou hast given them blood to drink, for they are worthy. You see, they don't see any good in anything. They are trying to take all the things that God has taught us away from us so that we'll be like them and go to an eternal hell and fire and brimstone and never see light again. And I heard another out of the altar say, Even so, Lord God Almighty, true and righteous are thy judgments. He is the only way to live. That's the only true person. The Bible is the word of God. And you, when you read it, your life changes. And he says in Revelation 6, 3 and 4, And once you know these, you live the abundant life. I have lived the abundant life. And I'm 86 years old. And I love every minute of my life. And I have served the Lord for over 40 years, almost 50, and taught the word of God every day. Every week, I mean, not every day, every week I've had a Bible lesson. So here in Revelation 6, 3 and 4, now these are things that's happening, and you can't change that. And he says, and when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth and that they should kill one another, and there was given unto them a great sword. And then in chapter, Revelation chapter 8, verse 8, And the second angel sounded, and as it were a great mountain burning with fire, and cast into the sea, and the third part of the sea became blood. You see, all of these things are... are just so horrible that people won't even read the book of Revelation because they don't want to know what's going to happen to them. And I'm here to tell you that I have the joy of the Lord and I have the abundant life. This is all there is in this book. And there's not another person in the world that loves you the way God loves you and went to the cross to die that you could have the life, eternal life, not only was he beaten, he went to the cross to die for us. And they put a leather thong with 12 pieces of leather and beat him with that. And all of his skin was open, the 12 pieces with a bone and metal in each piece. And he did that for us. And we will never have to go through anything but the greatest blessings, our and heavenly, divine, eternal blessings, mansions. You see, when you're a child of God, the one thing that you remember is, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be. 
also. It is all heavenly, divine. Everything he gives to us on this earth after we become a child of God is free. And the people that have to go to an eternal hell. You see why I'm here? Because I love you the way God loves you. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. And here we have, greater is he that is in you, the Holy Spirit. You cannot be saved apart from, apart from the Spirit of God. And then, you, when we are born again, we only have a soul and a body. But then, after we are saved, we are complete. The Spirit of God never leaves us because the soul and body can't go to heaven. When you take your last breath, if that happens today, the spirit and soul go to be with the Lord and your body goes back to dust. Now, if he should come today, the greatest blessing in the whole world is we would be raptured and our bodies would be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. The people that have to go to heaven with the, just their spirit and soul then your body goes back to dust from where it came. That's the only place he has for you, for your body. And then he, he is waiting for us, and he says, come up hither, and we get a body of light. And we never, never hurts. And I can't go into all of that, but it is so exciting that I can give this to you. I am the happiest person in the whole world. And then in Revelation, Chapter 6, we go back to chapter 6, and the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. And men were scorched with great heat and blasphemed the name of God, which had power over these plagues, and they repented not to give him glory. This is the most amazing thing. And then the fifth one, the fifth angel poured out his vial upon the seat of the beast. Now, this, it's called, he's called a beast, but he is man. He is man. And his kingdom was full of darkness, and they gnawed their tongues for pain. You see, I want you to get in this book right now, today, every person that's listening. Read the book of John through only 21 chapters. 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John, and you will learn more about what he, how much he loves you. And then, this is amazing, the, the, their tongues, this is amazing. They gnawed their tongues for pain and blasphemed the God of heaven because of their pains and their sores and repented not of their deeds. Once you know the Lord Jesus Christ like I do, and everything that he has done is a gift from him, and it is eternal, and it's all, everything that he gives us is his gift to us. And we are already children of light, and we're saints of God, and we're sons of God, we're priests of God. This is how we have to know the word of God. And then, this is the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up, and that the way of the kings of the earth might be prepared. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. You see, if you don't have the Spirit of God dwelling in you, you can't know when people are trying to lie to you and give you a different way to get to heaven. Jesus Christ is the only person that went to the cross and died for you with the beatings and everything that he went through. And he did that to give us his pure blood. You can't be saved apart from his pure blood. And then he says, I thought three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of false prophet. For they are the spirits of devils. See, you as a child of God can't know them apart from the spirit of God. And you have to be born again. You are born again and the Spirit never leaves you until you're ready to go to heaven. The Spirit and soul go to be with the Lord. And this is 
for they are the spirits of devils. You don't know what's true and what's evil as unless you have the Spirit of God dwelling in you. Work in a miracle which go forth unto the kings of the earth and the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. Behold, I come as a thief Blessed is he that watches and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. Verse 16, And he gathered them together into a place called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon. This you don't want to go there. Christ is the only person. Every promise in this book is ours. As I gave you this before, you have not because you ask not. And this is a confidence we have if we ask anything according to his will. I know he hears, and we shall have the petitions we require of thee. I pray for 100 fold. For over 40 years, I prayed when I gave the word of God out. I prayed for 100 fold. And if you want to be rewarded when you get to heaven, you begin right now to pray because that's what his word has promised me, and he's never failed me. And the seventh angel poured out his vial into the air, and there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne, saying, It is done. Now listen at these things. And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, such as was not since men were upon the earth so mighty an earthquake and so great. And listen what it says. And the hail that came down was 100 pound hail. This is why I'm here for you. This, it, you have none of these as a child of God. All you have to do is to obey. And every island, every island and every mountain were not found. And the great city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nation fell, and great Babylon came to remembrance before God to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of the wrath of God. You can have this abundant life that I know if you will just accept this gift today. And all you have to do is to ask him to save you. And all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine. Tells us what's right. For reproof tells us what is not right. For correction tells us how to get right. For instruction in righteousness tells us how to keep right. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. You see what we have? Nothing but blessings from our Lord. Nothing but blessings. And he did that so we could all be with him and be in this heavenly home that he's prepared for us. And it's all, all pure gold, all pure gold. We don't know anything. We're going to die. We're going to go to heaven. And we're, if we don't die before that, but all the things on this earth are going to be burned up. That's what Armageddon is. This whole earth is going to be burned up. All the things that you are laying up in your homes are going to be gone. And we'll be in heaven. Thank you for hearing today because my life has been so abundant since the Lord has given me these so I can give them out to each of you because God loves you and I love you. That's an everlasting love.